guys. So no encoding overlord this time, which is nice. First time around, um, I don't know why, but um, I was getting encoding overload in the first episode. It literally got corrupted. That's basically basically what happened is it got corrupted. Um, it didn't get corrupted, but the recording was just very choppy and it was literally in like one FPS, if not zero FPS half the time. And I didn't realize it because I had a bunch of VPNs on, you know, make sure people aren't tracking me. I had, uh, I was mining Bitcoin as well. Well, I stopped my miner, but my miner was active. It wasn't active, but I had it paused. But um, yeah, this is basically just going to be a start to a new series, guys. We're going to be grinding to all-star rank, which is the, the highest rank, I think. Um, if you guys like it enough, I'll keep doing it. But um, the first episode, dude... I wish it would have got lagged out because I said a lot of stuff that was that, that might have helped you guys out. Um, it was a pretty interesting matchup as well. I was against a silver as a as a bronze, and that's how I got my silver. I was against uh, another silver, um, and he was like, "Get ready, I'm a I'm a silver," and I absolutely demolished him. So, <laughs> um, I'm gonna be explaining. Um, Basically, I'm going to be explaining a, a couple of rundown English. Yeah. All right. So basically, in the, seri in the series, I'm going to do like flat, just like plain footage. Uh, I'm not going to do any cuts. This is really unfortunate. He's a level 130, but um, I'm not going to be doing any cuts. I'm going to be just focusing on just telling you guys what I'm thinking at the time, my play style, and what, I, what I'm going to do. So and like give you guys like tips and tricks my personal tips and tricks that i that i think would be useful to you and uh basically the meta that i'm using so so i start i like to start the round out with a minato on the front um it's important to have units in the front because when if somebody has uh somebody like beers i think that's the name of, his, of that uh, uh boss um i think that's his name in dragon ball z Somebody has Beerus and they place him down and you let him live. He's gonna constantly nuke all your units, which does which stops them from attacking. And he's also going to do uh, 25 damage to your base. So I like to put down Minato in the front to, to prevent that. And I also like to put him in the front to maximize earnings on the earlier rounds because the earlier you get your money, the better it is. So, um,. I usually usually this only one gets through so that means my placement was good and by the time he gets right here I should be able to place it right here or if I'm unlucky I'll have to place it like over here somewhere uh, hopefully I only had to place it right here but it's looking like I'm gonna have to place it a little bit more forward maybe there we go there this is a perfect run for me basically so as long as he doesn't have wish which he does I think uh, no that's not wish um, as long as he doesn't have wish or something like that, I should be able to to have a chance at this. Um, he does have double my HP because he's level one hundred and what twenty something, uh, which is which is a bit unfair. But you know what I'm saying that's just how PVP goes. You know what I mean? Uh, it's unfair, but at the same time, it's it's kind of fair because he put in the time to get that level in. PVP is supposed to be end game, anyways, right? So the higher level you are, the better. The better troops you are, you have, the better. It just means we have little, we have little, little hurdle to to top over, all right? So let's not complain about it too much. Um, third Minato placement is gonna be right here. Um, this is where I'm mainly gonna be setting up my 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 units. Um, I feel like this is a pretty decent spot to like extend the amount of range for each unit that I have. So um. I start around here and uh yeah uh i don't i don't uh usually place bomas until i have at least one minute to last and uh four uh must i think they're called mustangs in this game but um i forgot his name ah oh, dang can't believe i forgot his name i, I knew it just a second ago i was saying it constantly in last vid but um that's a rip i forgot his name but he's, 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 he's really good. 
Um, I'm gonna place them down. I mean, this is gonna be two, doing 200, so I should be able to take out that. Should be able to take out those guys. Um, this guy is burning. Um, I should be pretty Gucci as long as he doesn't summon anything. This one's at 400, which is pretty interesting. So I'm gonna have to. Uh, never mind. He's gonna probably burn and lower HP. This is why he's so good. He just burns them. He has decent range. He has his SP is insane. It's really, really good. So. As long as I keep this up, I should be good. As long as he doesn't have Beerus as well. Because if he has Beerus, then I'm pretty much screwed because he has a higher level than me, right? So I need to take, I need to f get basically obtain as much damage as possible as soon as possible because he outlevels me. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be placing down all of these guys first just to just because their SPA is pretty insane, he has, they have Baron as well, so I'm going to place them down as soon as possible and then I'm going to start working on my Nita toe. I'm going to place two down just in case D cells come through and then we should be uh, Gucci. Uh, I'm going to level up this one. Okay, so I think he... Okay, okay, I guess I just killed an explode. Yeah, I, I killed an explosive. Okay, I thought he placed down beers for a second. I was about to start crying <laughs> um so basically we're gonna place down uh need to upgrade him um gonna place down uh we're not placed down we're gonna upgrade him once and then we're basically going to get this need to up as much as possible we're gonna try to get into 1.6k and then we're gonna start boma farming now this is all-star tower this is an all this is a tower defense pvp all right so you're playing against the person you're not supposed to be helping them, all right? You in in the only way to play against somebody is to screw with them, right? Cuz there's not much you can do. It's basically a game of survival, but you're going to have to do a, a little bit more than just place units down and survive because you know what I'm saying sometimes you get outleveled, sometimes people have better units, so you're going to have to so you're going to have to I'm going to what I'm going to do is obstruct his space. So if he's going to place Anything back here, I'm going to place all my Boma farms back there so he can't use that area to place units down. So if he's panicking, you know what I'm saying, he's about to die and he's trying to place units down in the back at the last second, I'm going to obstruct his space. Uh, you know, I don't really need to worry about my place being obstru obstructed because I know for a fact I can lock it down. So he has a de he has decent placement than, when, when, than the other people that I play against. Um, Usually people tend to place everything in the back and I obstruct their space and they get mad at me for obstructing their space But you do not want to place your units in the back All right, and the reason for that is because of the range when your units when your units are, are like All bunched together in the back. You're not taking full advantage of their range and That's really bad if you're using units like Sasuke if you're if your units units like uh, like um what you call it like uh Mito. it's it's just it just it just it's just a waste of of space you know what i mean so make sure you're placing your units at least in the middle or near the front or not but not too close to the front because if it, you'd be obstructing their range again so you're gonna want to maximize the range by putting them somewhere in the middle maybe somewhere over here is nice too this place looks pretty nice because you have a, a lot of if you have a lot of air units you you can set those up um yeah So basically, uh, when with my Boma farm, what I'm basically gonna do is okay. I'm gonna start slowing them down as well, just to have some insurance, just in case he tries anything on me. So um, basically, with your Boma farms, um, I like to upgrade mine first and not just like place them mindlessly down and then upgrade them later. Be and the reason for that is because I think you get more money if you just focus upgrade. Um, it's a lot better. It's a lot better that way. Uh, you, it, I personally have had a better, better time doing it this way. You make more money, um, and the, and I'll show you like I'll show you like my rundown of like why I think that is. Um, so basically, each round when you're getting money, you know, you usually usually in a normal infinite mode, you can you know when a round skips, right? So this might be not, but not, might not be as viable. But you know when a when a round skips, right? Okay, so we got I got the money. The round running money so i'm gonna have to place one down and then oh wait 305 uh never mind i'm just got i just i'm just an idiot right now uh once i at least wave cleared yeah so once it says wave cleared that's what if you don't have enough money to okay my alarm's good enough what's it <laughs>
All right. So. So when you're when you're focused upgrading like this, it's a lot better for for like for like getting money. But when you're um, I don't know that you need to clean it. But um, basically, so basically, what you're gonna want to do is uh, wait until the round is about to end, right? And right before that, oh, he's gonna he's trying to obstruct me. Okay, so that's uh, that's alright. Um, so basically, right before okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and place my units because he's trying to obstruct me. But he he did a terrible job of it, to be honest. Um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, he did a he did a pretty terrible job of obstructing my space. Uh, I should be able to place all my units that I need to uh, in the areas uh, nicely. Uh, there you go. Yeah, I have all my units placed down. I he kind of tried to obstruct my area. I'm gonna go ahead and place my uh, air units as well, just in case he tries to obstruct them that way. Um, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty Gucci, right? Yeah. So basically, I got my units right here. Got them over there. He doesn't have that many bomas, right? So I can just do this. He has air units coming in and killing him, and he doesn't even realize it because I obstructed his area, and now he's gonna take damage for that 380, right? So basically, I have the upper hand. He doesn't have any air units any decent air units down right now so basically he just threw the match by wasting his time obstructing me so he's using frieza as well it's probably not the best idea but i'm gonna go ahead and place this down and uh basically what this is gonna do is since he has no units in the front like i said at the beginning it's because he has no units at the front that he's losing right now he's going to lose because he has no units in the front my beers is going to constantly nuke all of his units right and it's gonna do 20 it's gonna do 25 damage as well and that's all because he forgot to place units in the front or he just doesn't place units in the front actually and um that's a good thing for me because um you know i can get some damage done with beerus uh, he's a higher level than me so his hp was higher but that's kind of ruined now because his, his advantage is kind of like screw he screwed up his advantage basically he's um also placing units in the back not a good idea um i'm actually helping him out by placing my bomas right here and telling him not to place units over here um it's better if he doesn't place units back here because of what i said earlier you want to maximize your range and that's not how you're supposed to do it you you're not supposed to just stack your units in the back over here you know what i'm saying you can he, he has a decent amount of units placed over here but don't don't rely on the units in the back it's not a good idea um i don't really need this meter tone anymore so i'm just gonna sell them um but yeah it's basically it's basically gg from here he 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 kind of screwed <laughs> he kind of screwed up by wasting his time on me uh and that caused him to get a lot of damage done on him from the air units um so now i have the beer assist coming in they're gonna constantly nuke his uh, units uh, that he has placed down, and he's he's Irwin buffing already. Um, you don't need a Irwin buff this early. It's not worth it. You wanna you don't wanna focus on placing down your units more than Irwin buffing right now because Irwin buffing isn't like really useful until around like round uh, thirty or so, thirty or forty, and that's only if you have bad units. And it doesn't seem like he really has bad units because uh, at least I, I as, as far as I'm, I'm concerned like this guy has level 80 units and I don't know why he's doing that I don't know what he's doing right now <laughs> um <laughs> uh yeah my beerses are just all back here um I'm just gonna play some more just just to add insult to injury I guess uh they're just gonna constantly nuke him every round and yeah that's pretty much all that's gonna happen uh he kind of played this re <laughs> He played this really badly. I don't know what he's doing right now. Um, he's he's still not focusing on units in the front. He's just allowing my unit, my Beeruses to come through. I don't even have to buy any more Beeruses. I can just let those Beeruses uh, take care of him. Uh, so I'm just going to focus on placing down my troops. Even though I don't really need to because I already... Yeah, it's it, I'm beyond, it's GG. Alright, I'm going to be honest. This is, this is GG already. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what he, what he's doing, but, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much how it goes when you're playing against people. 
in this tower in this game in PvP. Um, I don't. I guess they don't normally. I, I just they don't understand how it works. It, I don't know, dude. Um, yeah, I, do, I I honestly don't know what he's doing at this point. If I'm being completely honest, uh, it's gonna add more insult to injury, I guess, just in case he killed my other beers. Uh, yeah, they're still alive. They're literally still alive. Um, yeah, that's yeah, that's GG. I just literally, I, I just hit perfect on him too. That's that's rough. Oh, he finally look. Wait, hey, look, he finally placed units in the front, but it's too late because I have beers is right here, right. So my beers is right here are pretty much gonna kill him. See, it's too, it's too late, too late for that man. You waited too long. You're getting nuked, and now next round, if my beers is stay alive and don't get anywhere near them, it's basically just GG. And and yeah, that's that's pretty much all it took. <laughs> One mistake by him, and he's done. Beerses are walking too slow. By the time he gets there, it's already round over. The freezes aren't gonna be able to kill them in time, and that's GG, dude. That's rough, dude. <laughs> uh that's rough. That's that's rough. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys watching the what was supposed to be the second episode but um my first episode got uh you know it got corrupted not corrupted but you know as i was saying in the beginning of the video it got a little got a little you know little little laggy a little i had encoding overload i wasn't paying attention when i started the recording that was my fault but um anyways i hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed the video i hope you guys learned a couple stuff on how to play um pvp uh Again, make sure you're you're blocking the the top, the front lane. Um, if you do not have units in the front, then you're not going to win. You are going to lose. Like he, like you just saw, uh, he should have had the the easy W because he had more HP. Um, but unfortunately, he didn't he didn't understand meta and he doesn't understand PvP enough, and that's that's understandable. PvP is still new. Everybody's still trying to understand how to play it, but. I think yeah, I think uh, after releasing a couple of these videos and, and showing you guys how it works, um, you get everybody's gonna gonna eventually get better and hopefully you can start doing higher rounds like if maybe people everybody gets to round like maybe you can start doing like PvP rounds like round 40 or maybe even possibly round 55 plus, you know what I mean? And uh, that, 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 that sounds kind of fun, not even gonna lie, round 50 plus uh, PvP on the holster. But anyways, guys, I hope you do enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see some more, you know, comment down below. You know, hit me up on Discord. Tell me, tell me what you think. Uh, let me know uh, what you would like me to add in these videos as well. You know what I'm saying? If you have any tips and tricks as well that you'd like to include, uh, just let me know. I'll add them in the video. And anyways, guys, peace out.